Here's how I record myself and my screen at the same time on my Mac. In this video, I'll share with you the software I use, the features of the software, including how I get these smooth zoom ins. I'll share with you how I use my camera as a webcam. If you have a look here, there we go. It's the, the webcam setup, and there I am. And I'll also share with you a few editing tricks I use if you do decide to go ahead and use this setup as well. So let's get started with the software that I use. And short answer is Screen Studio. And I quite like Screen Studio, it's really nice. And it gives me the chance to do these smooth zoom ins when I need it to. And what I like the most about it is that it gives me the option to just pay once and not have to worry about it again. You can just buy it once and you don't have to keep paying monthly. You, can, you have that option if you do want to pay monthly or yearly, but I just like to pay once and forget about it. And that option is available. So I really like that option. So that's Screen Studio. And I'll share with you a few features that you can use and how to do the smooth zoom ins. The alternative, when I was making video editing tutorials back in the day, so my older videos, I used Loom. And Loom is all right and I can drag this icon of me in the bottom right hand corner around, but I just don't like paying that monthly fee. And now I'm gonna break down how I use my camera as a webcam. And then I'll go into the features of Screen Studio. So let's go over to my phone and there we are. I'm gonna share with you this whole setup, how I use this as my webcam. So let's break down all these parts, right? So first part, this is just a USB-C to USB-A dongle. This actually came with my hard drive with this bad boy. Uh, but it works, I've been using it. And then this is a HDMI to USB video capture card. There we go. It's relatively cheap. It has to be a capture card. It can't just be one of those dongles that converts USB to HDMI. It has to be a capture card if you want to use your camera as a webcam. And then the last piece, this wire thing, this is the HDMI to HDMI micro cable. There we go. And that connects to my camera. And the other thing I do with this is that I record on my camera at the same time. So I can switch to this shot right here. And I like interchanging between the shots. Cool. Let's head back to the software. Let me stop this recording. So you can see all the features we can use on Screen Studio. So this is what I see after I record everything. And it looks like a video editing software a little bit. Like I can make cuts, I can trim it a little bit. I can trim off the start because I always mess up at the start and you, you don't realize how many times I mess up before I get the intros right. But yeah, this is Screen Studio. When I want to do a smooth zoom in, I'll pinch and go in and then I just click that and it'll zoom in. Share with you the software. There we go. And I can drag it here. Yeah, I'm gonna share with you the software I use and how the software allows me to do these smooth zoom ins. I'm gonna share with you. And there we go, like that's how I can do my smooth zoom ins. It's really easy with Screen Studio. And there are a few other com customization things I can do. I can change the background color. I can crop it. Usually I crop it so I don't have the top and the bottom in my editing tutorials. There we go, change the background color. Let's say black. Can change the cursor style. Cursor size. There's a whole lot of customization options. Camera size, camera roundness, where it is on the screen. You can add captions, which I haven't experimented much with. Change the microphone stuff. Uh, how smooth the cursor is. There's just a whole lot of customization things. And once I'm ready, I'll just click export. And usually I export to 4K, export to file, change the name. Let's go test two. So once that has exported, I'm gonna share with you how I edit the screen recordings because I feel like there's an issue with Screen Studio and I'm gonna share with you my workaround. 
and also how I get the talking head shot too. So let's go to import and import the clips we want to add to our timeline. So this is the talking head shot that I recorded. Remember when I pushed record on my camera, boom. And this is the file from that. And this is the screen recording from Screen Studio. This video is on how to change aspect ratio on CapCut. So what I'll do first is I'll drag and drop the video that is the screen recording from Screen Studio to the timeline first. And the issue I have with Screen Studio is that the video and audio files aren't synced perfectly. Like I'm not sure if it's just me because I use the Rode PodMic USB, but I just noticed that and that annoys me and I want it perfectly synced. So what I'll do is first I'll right click here, extract audio so it's no longer connected. Then I'll go right arrow six times, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll drag this this way like that. And then I'll select this, command B, delete this and make sure it's all good like that. So now the video and audio files are synced. For me, I just know it's six frames. Cool, let's have a check. Here's so how you can change the aspect. And that's all good on my end. And what I'll do now usually is I will get the talking headshot because I like to have the talking headshot for the intro and outro of my video where it's me filling the frame. So I just drag that on top as like B-roll almost and I'll make the volume louder so it's easier for me to sync. And then I'll try to find the start and the end. So something like that. And then I'll zoom in by pinching and I'll try to sync the two. I'll just keep playing around until it looks good. I think that looks all right from my side. So I can change the F and then once I'm happy with it, I'll turn the volume of this one down and then select all, go command B, delete these two, and then make sure they all start at the same time. Here's how you can change the aspect ratio on CapCut on your Mac and PC. And then now to change it from the talking headshot to the screen recording, I'll go command B, zoom out, and then Usually I like the talking headshot at the outro as well, so I'll just go like that, trim that, and then it seamlessly goes from me talking. So if we go and it goes to my screen recording. So that's how I record myself and my screen at the same time. Now, if you want to download Screen Studio, I'll have an affiliate link in the description down below. Feel free to use it. But thanks for watching. My name is Junius. I'm a medical student, but I document whatever I learn about educational content on this YouTube channel and I've organized everything into playlists, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, consider subscribing too, I appreciate that. Appreciate your support. See you in the next one.